Hi, I'm Sharif Khan on men's SP basketball. Sharif, teams are coming off a very good weekend, back-to-back -back wins over Central Washington. The first one was Friday in Ellensburg, a four-point win. Yeah. Uh, what do you remember about that game? Uh, it was a dogfight, um, very physical game, uh, it was a close game, and as a team we think that was our best win of the season, it felt good to pull out a close win, um, we really played together, and we think we turned a corner, um, kind of finding our identity in that game. You hit a couple really deep threes late in that game, including the go-ahead basket. Uh, you were way behind the line there. What uh, What were you thinking on those threes? Um, on the first one, I got a handoff from Jake Mejo, and it was just in rhythm, and I let it fly. Uh, my teammates trust me. And then the second one, I remember the shot clock was going down, uh, and I was just waiting for the defender to put his hands down, and I knew I had a good look at it, um, and it just felt good, yeah. Well, this is a generalization, but it seems like uh, early in your career, the corners were your spot where you made your significant threes from. Yeah. Now hitting from the top, wh where do you prefer? If you had your ideal spot to hit one, where, where do you love to shoot most? Um, I think throughout college, my corner threes have really developed well. I used to, I used to hate shooting in the corner, um, but I worked on that a lot uh, my first few years here, and it feels good. Ideally, though, I think top of the key, uh, straight on three pointers, probably my favorite shot. Yep. From the corner, you're limited a bit on your range. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the sideline yeah. is behind you. Top from around the top, unlimited space yeah. almost there. How comfortable are you shooting a regular three? How far back behind the line are you comfortable shooting? Uh, pretty far back. I usually don't try to like look at where I am. Um, I feel like I have a pretty good feel of just the distance, the distance, and uh, um, just have a good feel of. I can make it and I have confidence in myself. So I try not to think about if I'm too far back, I'm like, uh-oh, like, this is out of my range. I kind of just try to keep my mind open and stay positive and I believe I can knock down every shot I take. If the SVU team had an NBA all-star game style three-point shooting contest, would you win that? As a competitor, yeah, I'm gonna say myself. Uh, I think it would be tough though, we got some great shooters. Um, and that was gonna be my next question, yeah. who would finish second? <sighs> That's tough, we have some really good shooters. We got Mejo, Penner, Shaw, um, I don't know. We just got I a clear know. winner and yeah. number two is up yeah, for yeah, grabs. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, then you came back Saturday night. This game was here in Seattle and a much more convincing victory. Why was that so? Um, well, I think when we were at Central, we had a really good second half. Our first half, it was solid, but it wasn't nearly as good as our second half. And I think... Uh, on Saturday, we came out and we played the whole 40 minutes like we did um, the second half um, at Central. Uh, we were firing from the get-go and just ready to play from the tip, which has been an issue um, for this team this year. And I think we turned a big corner um, by playing 40 minutes uh, together and as hard as we could. One of the unique features of Saturday's game was Central Washington left their jerseys, their yeah. uniforms were back home in Ellensburg. So they borrowed your maroon mm -hmm. roads, you wore your uh, home whites. Yeah. Uh, was that uh, distracting or confusing at all? Uh, at fir during warm-ups it was weird to look over there. Um, and I could see my old jersey from two years ago. But once the game started to go, I kind of forgot about it. But during warm-ups it was definitely weird to look over there and see our jerseys. Great. Well, after that, uh, you hope to carry the momentum from last weekend's um, series into a really difficult series yeah. this week. And Northwest Nazarene comes here to Seattle Friday and Saturday games. Uh, they're 10 and 1, right? An eight game winning streak in here. You probably haven't had a chance yet to look at film or anything, yeah. but uh, what do you expect from that series? Some tough games. Um, from what I've heard, I mean, I think they're 15 14 in the country right now. Uh, we know they have some guys that play really hard, some very skilled guards, um, and just from years past, they always put up a good fight, um, and this year's going to be no different. We're going to have to come in ready to compete um, and just play our best. In other seasons, you have had some back-to-back -back games early in the year in yeah. tournaments. Not many. This year has almost entirely mm -hmm. been, you play a game, in fact, this Friday you'll play at 6 o'clock, you got to come back and play at 2 o'clock. Yeah on Saturday. How difficult is that to get your body and mind and everything ready? Uh, it's tougher. It's tougher for sure. Um, I think we're getting used to it at this point in the season though. In the beginning it was weird. Uh, Saturday mornings, you know, try to get that soreness out, go to the training room, uh, do what you can to get ready for the game. But kind of the mindset is like 
if you hurt a little bit on Saturday, just get through the day. You have Sunday to rest. Um, yeah. We talked about three point shooting. That's not all you bring to the table. How is it that a six foot one guard is leading the team in block shots? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I try to be as active as I can, get my hands in uh, passing lanes, and just. When I'm smaller, I gotta be more active and try to be a little more physical and scrappy. Um, I just do what I can to get extra possessions for the team. You've also parlayed those active hands into 16 steals, which is one behind the team lead mm -hmm. of that. Has that always been part of your game? Yeah, uh, I've always kind of prided myself on being uh, good at like reading passing lanes and deflecting balls, and so this year's no different. Um, just trying to do that for my team, but also try not to overplay too much um, and keep, get beat back door or anything like that. You were listed as one of three seniors on the mm -hmm. team joining Medi Almardi and Harry Cavill. Unique NCAA rule this year yeah. because of the COVID. Um, they have allowed seniors or allowed everybody to yeah. not count this year. So seniors have an opportunity to come back next year. We won't ask you to commit right now, but what is the thought process you three are going through? What is the dynamic there yeah. on that choice? Uh, I think it's a really nice option. Um, I think it's really cool of the NCAA to do that and allow seniors to come back um, because this year has been so weird. Um, the mindset is kind of just figuring out what we want to do in the future, um, how we feel about our future in basketball and academics. Uh, we're all currently in a master's program here and kind of seeing how that plays out. Um, and of course, talking to Leap um, and just seeing what's going on. So I think just evaluating um, our future plans with basketball and our careers and then going from there. How difficult has this year been, obviously with the pandemic, just not just basketball, but academically, academically how, how have things uh, been different than in a normal year? Um, well, I know almost everyone on the team has been strictly Zoom. Uh, I know a couple guys have like a rare in-person, socially distanced class, but it's been really different. Um, it's tough. Uh, it's tough to stay focused on Zoom, like when you're not in the class setting. But I think we're all doing the best we can to um, like get our priorities straight, um, get our academics done, so we're able to play basketball. Um, it's been tough though. Uh, tough to focus and just make sure that mentally and physically we're in it. Yep. You talked about the Astros program. Talk a little bit about where you are academically and what you're studying. Uh, so I'm studying data analytics. Uh, this is my first year. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it even more than I thought I would, which is really nice. Um, I've had some really great professors already just in my second quarter. Um, and I'm learning a lot. And it's definitely more in depth than undergrad. Um, so the workload is, I would say it's it's more specific, it might be less, but it's more specific and in-depth. So it's a good change and I'm really enjoying it. And where do you see yourself using that in the future? Um, I'm not sure. I think being somewhere in like sports stats would be really cool. Um, exploring how to like impact sports through that would be nice and kind of just combining my passion for sports with my academics. Great. Last question. Uh, Unusual year made even more so because games have been fanless and yeah. noticeably absent here at uh, Brome Pavilion mm -hmm. has been uh, the Khan family hasn't yeah. been able to watch games. Yeah. They're always a large presence here. Uh, how, uh, how frustrated I guess are they? They don't get to see you in person. Also how different has that been for you to play without fans in the state? Yeah, uh, they've been pretty bummed. Uh, they wish they could be here but they're always supporting, they're watching, they're live streaming the games, so they're still glad that they can watch on TV, and I'm sure the first game we're able to have fans, they'll be here. Yeah. Um, without the fans, I would say the first game by far was the most unusual, just looking over um, to where our bench usually is, and just all the bleachers are up, we're on the other side. Um, but I think we adjusted pretty quickly. Um, the music's usually playing pretty loud during timeouts and halftime, so it still has an atmosphere. Um, and we kind of we do our best to create our own energy. And I think the bench, um, at all times of the game, no matter who's um, sitting out, is doing a great job of talking, communicating, uh, cheering. And so we've kind of built our own energy, and we've done a good job kind of um, substituting for the fans, so to say. Great. Well, Sharif, thanks so much for your time, and good luck this weekend against NNU. Thank you. I appreciate it.